everyone for staying with us. Let's now get into um, some partisan conversation about the race. Who is likely to win the election? There are 17 candidates in this race. Where are those who are touted as a frontline candidate? Could there be an offset? It's got, I mean, it's always been a two horse race in the Edo governorship election over the years. And we've seen the likes of uh, Adam Soshiamole emerge. Godwin Obaseki. This time around, Godwin Obaseki is going to be done in a, uh, with his two term in office. Then who will be the successor to the PDP's Godwin Obaseki? I'm being joined tonight to discuss this. A former commissioner for information in Edo State and the chieftain of uh, the APC, Kasim Afegbua, Prince Kasim Afegbua. Because he says he's royalty too. Thanks so much indeed for coming tonight. <laughs> I didn't say it. Hey, I'm, I'm a royalty. <laughs> All right. How are you today? I'm okay. Yeah, Thank great. You, Shemu. Yeah. How is the election shaping up, especially for your party? Very, very well. Very well, so very well. Mm. We remain the party to beat. So you are the underdog no. in your party. <laughs> how can? Uh, out of power. APC, APC is very strong in Edo State. Out. out of House of Rep members, nine of them, we have seven. PDP has one, Labour has one. Out of three senators, we have two. Labour has one, PDP has none. So if House of Assembly? House of Assembly, they have two, we have nine. Labour has two. So if you, if you look at the political dynamics, mm. we are the party to beat. But actually. if you look at it, uh, Kasim, and you've been on the ground for a while now, mm. uh, in 2012, you look at the election, there's been a mix of how this, in fact... When Comrade came into office, there is a dynamics of how Comrade became almost an orphan in the midst of the political gladiators. It was similarly just uh, there and it was trying to find his feet politically speaking. You look at 20, uh, four years later, 2016, when he ran into office, things seem, seem to have changed. But usually, you always have governorship election in a do state come after the major election year. And you look at what happened in 2019. You look at what happened in 2023. The presidential election are usually uh, a departure from what happened in the governorship election. So there are those who will say you cannot take away the factor of the Labour Party, uh, which is which looks like a third leg. It has been a race between the PDP and the APC over the last few years. But the Labour Party is possible to do an upset. Well, there, no, there, there won't be an upset if you are referring to Labour Party. Because one, the candidate of the Labour Party is from Edo South, from Benin, where go, uh, go, uh, Governor Basaki comes from. After eight years of Governor Basaki, the general understanding is that power should shift to Edo Central, which, which is the Asian speaking it's area. Been, is that agreed upon? Uh, well, that politics is all about sentiments. Because it favors your party, though. No, 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 no. I, you, you forgot I, I also tried to contest governorship. I'm not from Asia. You know, but the, 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 prevailing, the prevailing mood and the sentiments in this period is that power should go to Edo Central. Because they said that Adam Shishimole has done in Edo North, Obaseke has done now in Edo South. A lucky Bunedo also did. Osumbo's own time was terminated, one year, seven months. And so this is just an opportunity for the Edo Central people to take a shot at the governorship race. Mm -hmm. And so for an Ulua Quarter to try to you know, pull the, the dark horse scenario may not work. Because if you look at the election of 2030, which you refer to, Peter Obi was the attraction amongst you know, the younger elements in Edo State. They wanted Peter Obi, and so they won the presidential election. But the other elections that were held the same day, same time, House of Rep and Senate, they couldn't win. APC dominated all of those elections. And so it... it, 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 it I, I, have you seen how Labour Party is being received on the ground? <laughs> Peter Obi, Aisha Yesufu, <laughs> uh, Yakubu Dati. Aisha, I promise they, you they, that Aisha cannot deliver her poly unit in, in uh, Agbade, where she comes from. Tell her that she should post the results she is going to give us in Agbade. Let us see. You see, it is not about uh, carrying crowd. The crowd will be there. But we are, we are talking about organic crowd. Crowd that actually resonate with the candidate you know, of the party. I mean, and, the, the Labour Party will tell you that they have... Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the poorest of the poor, uh, the mama party, they are they are and that it is the, the party of the people, 
And uh, Oluapata is from the senatorial district with the highest voting population in Edo State. We know, we know, but don't forget, don't, think don't, that, forget, that, that, don't forget that Oluapata Olu cannot rake all the votes. <laughs> it's not possible. So you well, have but something. But what if you guys have the vote uh, in the largest voting, you, you, uh, there, voting there, there, block? There are criteria you must meet. You must call majority votes in two thirds of the local governments of the state. That means twelve. Or at most at 13. So if you take the seven local governments of Edo South, which I know very well that we're going to beat Oluapata anyway uh, in Edo South, if you take all of that one out and you look at Edo North and then Edo, Cent Edo Central, there's no way that Labour can pull any, surprise, any surprises as far as we are concerned, you know? But in the scheme of things, why does it look like your party has been boasting around town that you are going to use federal might against the PDP, and the PDP has been raising an alarm <laughs> and saying that your party has been boasting and you cannot really win the real uh, vote uh, except if you rig. Uh, Why is your party thinking of no, rigging? No, no, is no. that a strategy? No, 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 please. So, please, all of this blackmail that Debo uh, Lugwag by the public secretary and all of uh, Basaki and his, uh, and his uh, lieutenants, all, all, all of this uh, narration, it's just to give a dog a bad name in order to hang it. As far as we are concerned, we are very much on ground. We campaign around all the 192 wars in the state. They didn't do that. We campaign around all the 18 local governments. And so we have our supporters who are itinerant supporters of the APC. When you talk about boosting about federal might, how I wish I can get federal might here. Personally, I will want a federal man. Is it not what no, the no, same no, no, no. thing? Listen. Is it not the same thing that the PDP is saying that listen, their no. members are being arrested? No, wait. as a show listen. of federal man. No. according to the PDP. No, no, no. You listen to the spokesman of the police. He gave a scenario. An incident happened July 18th in Benin. You know when one inspector Ono Ako was killed gruesomely, brought their light. We know the people who did all of this. We wrote petitions, we submitted names and all of that. Instead of this person submitting themselves to interrogation of the police and perhaps, you know, escape from being, you know, uh, uh, complicit in the act, they have been hiding inside government house under the watch of Governor uh, Gordon Abbasek. That you cannot I, prove. I can prove it to you. I, they, do they you have evidence? See, they they, they do, been in the government house. They've been in the government house. They go with him on his convoy. They don't go out and you all have of that. Pictures. We have, we have, we have insiders. Videos of that. So we have insiders. Anybody can make those conjectures. Not conjectures. We have insiders. We have insiders. When they finish campaigning, they don't, they don't, they don't go anywhere other than government house. They've allocated rooms to them and all of that. Tell them to go and Face police. I was declared one time in this country in 2018. You were quite mm -hmm. aware. I didn't hide. I was in Benin when I was declared wanted. I had to call the commissioner of police that, well, if you want to arrest me here, I'm available, or you want me to go to Abuja. He said, go to Abuja, the IG that declared you wanted. I took the plane. I came to Abuja, and on the Wednesday, February 6th, I went to the police headquarters. Because if your hands are clean, you don't be afraid of police inviting you to explain the role you play in XYZ. Issue and when when they, uh, they they interrogated me, they left me they let me go. After, when I left there, I was invited by the DSS. These places there are, are manned by are, are are manned by people that your party has been linked in the possibility, like the case of blessing. Our blessing, Obama was wearing a spy uniform. How uh, members of the PDP are being picked up. A lot of issues see, are it, are being say, raised. Uh, so we, listen, listen. I, 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 I told you, I said, how I wish I have a federal might to uproot Governor Basaki, who has been a dictator for some time now. How do you mean? Let me tell you, they conducted local... To say? Yeah, he said, he has been a dictator. How? How do let you me mean? put it. There was a local government election last year in Edo State. Our party participated, the APC, and those who won election, the votes were counted and they declare you a winner at the polling at the polling units and at the coalition center at the local government were left to rot in the local governments. Those who lost, who are members of PDP, were invited to Benin. Governor Baseki issued them certificate of return under the watch of the SEC, a State Independent Natural State Electoral Commission, and gave them certificate of return. All 18 local governments in Edo State are under PDP. Even when some of our candidates won election. Now, we didn't, we didn't uh, shout blue murder. 
We didn't crucify Obaseki. We knew that, okay, he's the governor, he wants to use everything. He suits his purpose at that period. You know, he was moving all over the place as the political conquistador of the state. No problem. Now, because he's trying to seek a successor, who is his godson, a man who has told us that he doesn't want to be a godfather, now suddenly becoming a godfather, he said it on tape that... They're about, they're about no, no, the same age. No, no, listen. Can you call Aswe no, the godson No, 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 please. He's, God he's been a godfather. He, he was the one who masterminded how he emerged as a candidate of the party and all of that. Now, suddenly he's becoming a godfather when he criticized you know, anybody trying to be a godfather, and he's suddenly crying. Suddenly crying about federal might. When he, when he, 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 he showed state might to, you know, to subdue us, to prevent our candidates from emerging as local government channels. So you want to pay so, him back in the no, same no, I said, if, if I have my way, I will do that as Katsima Febo. I'm not going to pretend about mm -hmm. that. And that's why when I hear all this talk about uh, police harassing people, no, police is not harassing you. Why is police not harassing me? If you have been found culpable, you know, by stretch of imagination of the circumstances surrounding the killing of uh, Ono Ako, please go to the police and explain yourself. The police are human beings. You listen to uh, the, the spokesman. Fantastic, he, he gave a, a, the position. So let, let, let's look what at is, some of the wrong? issues, Kassim. Yes. Uh, if you look at it, uh, your candidate compared to other candidates, is he a match intellectually? In cap capacity wise, it's more, it's more than every other candidate. In what sense? You know why? Mm -hmm. Number one, he's electable. He has been elected by the good people of Edo Central. He scored 42,000 votes to emerge senator, defeating uh, uh, a, a city senator who had second term Clifford Odia of the PDP. Don't forget that Edo Central has been the hotbed of uh, PDP since 1999. And this, this, man, this young man came and defeated that man and, you know, change the political nar nar narratives of Edo Central. So if you talk about electability, none of those candidates you are mentioning... What about the, has, intel the intellectual I'm coming, I'm coming, let me... None of these persons have, meet, you know, have met that particular uh, uh, point in terms of politics. Now, if you talk about intellectual uh, capacity, how do you measure that? Uh, Mondo Pueblo is a graduate of business admin University of Abuja. He runs an IT company in Abuja, in, uh, in Abuja here. He has staff, he has grown his business from a very small business to a big, you know, big, big, big business. And so what makes, what makes... Why does he feel on the ground? Uh, th there are some feelers on the ground. And there, there are from Edo people who are, some who are saying that uh, they've not really seen your candidate uh, in appearance, in public appearance no. in the media to be able to present his case by himself. And these are being done mostly by proxies. Okay. Why? No, Why is that so? No, because no, you've no, seen no, the no, candidate see, of other political see, parties. Say, it depends on what suits every candidate. Number one. This is, this no, 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 no. Please I, wait. No, Number no, one. That, that, the votes, that cannot be right. No, no, no. The Cassie, votes are not you, you on television. You cannot say. No, Listen that's not to me. right. The votes are not on TV. No, no, you speak to the people. No, no. You I can choose other platform. By I not, see them directly. By, by, I go to the villages. There are rural areas. There are rural areas that have not seen electricity. For the past 10 years, one of them is a working me. Where Asuya Gudalo comes from. For the past eight years, they've been under darkness. Why hasn't he been able, why hasn't he be able to fix that electricity? Do you think people there will watch television? We need to go down there. What about those elites? Are you saying that the majority of the adult people a lot of are not a lot, lot of elites? A lot of elites. A lot of elites sit down in the city centers. They sit on top of their uh, this thing and they, they watch elections. They say they are frightened by statements of do or die of Governor Bassett. They won't come that day. It, those who are living in the rural areas are the core elements of the voting process. The way you are describing the people of Edo, I, don't, I, I know a lot of Edo people. Describe they are sophisticated. You are describing course. them as those people who, who, who shy away from, no, the, no, from, from, no, from, no, from, no. from, 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 from viewing television. No, 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 no. You are, you are. And taking, even the proprietorship and ownership of media. No, 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 no. You are taking words away from me. Let no, me no, 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 no. Let's subject this to the crucible, please. Yeah. Let's subject this to the crucible. I have just given you a research topic. Hmm. Go and research and compare those who watch television in the rural areas and the urban centers, and those who actually participate in the actual voting. An elite will not stay under the sun for four hours waiting for, to, for his turn to vote. 
the rural woman, the rural poor, the rural people, they will do that. So as a candidate running for election, I would rather go to those people. So it was, it was a deliberate strategy listen, of the APC listen. and Monday of Pueblo no, the to days, shy away no, 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 no. Let me from, you. from engagement you can't, you on can't, issues you can't and, be, and campaign matters. Listen now, you can't be engaging people on TV when your campaign is suffering on the field. The field work is most crucial. And the 10 days uh, uh, and, and, and bad governance protests also affected our schedule. So we, we needed to catch up with 192 wards in the state. We needed to catch up with 18 local governments. We needed to talk to critical stakeholders. And a one and hour, all of two that. hour of television see, media engagement it, is, is impossible. Shame, so what about those other shame, candidates shame, who are being shame, engaged? Unfortunately, none of the media houses wrote to us to invite us to any program. You think so? I know so. I know you do. That, you are very wrong. I know so, sir. You are very wrong. I, no, none of you wrote. That's you only, you only, you only exploit that, your wrong. friendliness Kasim, by making no, phone no, no. calls. Kasim, you, you find, do your research very well. You are I very know. wrong. You are I very know. wrong. We did right here on Channel's television. That you we want planned to for a debate. We've planned that's, for an that's a You said debate. No, I'm talking about interview. About... Interview of Mondo Pueblo. You never invited him by writing. By writing. Yes. So, uh, uh, Pueblo never... has to be invited by writing that, that before the, he can. That is the formal thing to do. So we take things for granted in this country. Mm. The formal thing to do, if you want to invite a candidate, you invite, you write, you want to, to feature in this program. Sadly, Sam, you practice this profession and you're talking like in this manner, Kasim. And no, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit worried about your position, about the manner in which came. Uh, I mean, the fact remains that a lot of people perhaps are, 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 are wanting to hear. Maybe he still has a 24 hour window to be able to do he that. Been talking. He has been talking to other people. Mm. He's been campaigning. He's okay. gone around 192 words. He's, mm. he's gone around 18 local governments. He's been talking. How, how else do you want him what, to what, sit down I, on the television? What, what if uh, there is an upset like what happened last time when Obaseki defeated um, your party? <laughs> what happened in 2020? We all knew. The scenario has changed. We all knew what happened. Needless to repeat it, because some of us are critical stakeholders, we are insiders. So that scenario has gone. If, the, if Obaseki had performed, admirably to the to Edo people, perhaps he may have the opportunity to choose a successor and pursue that aspiration to friction. But as we speak, Obaseku's performance is abysmal and dismal. And you need to come to Edo to see the rot. In so the, 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 if, uh, what, what if uh, people of and those, the candidate of the if people of Edo say choose in terms of the quality of the candidate and they decide to choose otherwise. I don't know how you define quality on the basis of somebody who has been an advisor in chief. And, he, and, 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 and perhaps in, in seven years, Obasaki promised to you be there. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And, 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 and I swear who has been an advisor in chief, who will advise Obasaki not to build, uh, not to build airport in a donut, because uh, Obasaki promised a donut, a donut airport, he couldn't build. He promised, he promised 18 local governments, each of them having a primary health center, he couldn't build. He promised the 192 was, a uh, primary health care uh, unit, he couldn't build one. He promised a uh, stadia in the Etihad local government, he didn't do one. He promised Galegale port, uh, he, he couldn't fulfill we that. To, we he, need to he go promised, Mr. Afegua. He promised we water need to go Mr. Afegua. from Galegale to Okwela, where I come from. He but, didn't do that. with the so economic if, realities yeah. in this country, yeah. do you think anybody in, a, uh, do you think that this might be a disadvantage for your party in Edo? It state? is not. It is not. You connect the voters know, know the, 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 the candidates. They connect with the candidate. And Okwebolo has been doing so much for people in Edo State to the extent that you just need to go out on the street and see the way people are crying. So despite what is happening at the center, people will see go in Edo no, State, even what see is, vote for... Even what is happening at the center is relative. That's the truth. Really? Yes, it's the relative. The hardship is relative. You see, let me tell you... Some of you, the rich... No, are, are it is not about... It's not, compared listen, to listen, some of us, the so poor. It's about all of us agreeing that we are ready to move our country forward. You see, we, don't, we always see government versus the people. It shouldn't be. It has to be a symbiotic relationship. When people cannot feed. Traffic and all, eh? When people cannot feed. When people cannot feed. When people are buying fuel you for 1,000 naira per the liter. Global, the global dynamics of economy is not peculiar to Nigeria. So I was just reading yesterday 
when people were talking about crisis in even China, that we all, we all go to Togo and this thing. You do remember that even China, as we speak, they also devalue their currency at some point. But what, what the difference they made was that they can produce. All right. Yeah, totally so, time, there are quite a number yeah, of things. Mr. Kasim, issues. Yeah. Prince Kasim Afegwa, yeah, yeah. chieftain of the thank APC. You, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah. I hope you'll be available. Whatever the case of, uh, I mean, the outcome of the election will be on There's Saturday. There's nothing like whatever will be the case. That of the APC will defeat every opponent to uh, match the totals in thank a global so nursing election. Yeah. You've been wrong in your prediction of uh, election. Maybe you'll be right this time around. No, wrong. I was right with uh, yeah. the Tinobu. I right. supported him. All right. I love thank you so much. Katsim Afegbu had a former journalist uh, who has since changed profession. Much. Former. Uh, <laughs> because you've, you've lost every blood and every every trait of being a journalist, Katsim. No, 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 thank you so much indeed, anyways, I for coming. Yeah, no, 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 no. I disagree with you tonight. <laughs> That's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. God bless Nigeria.